Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create a custom stinger transition for OBS using DaVinci Resolve. There'll be no fusion required. We'll be working with the presets that are already available in the free version of Resolve and customizing them to fit your brand. Let's dive right in. Let's set up our project and timeline settings to make sure that they match our OBS setup. First, go to the edit page and then right click in the media pool. Go to timelines, then create new timeline. You can give this timeline a name and then uncheck use project settings so we can check the timeline resolution and frame rate. Set your resolution and frame rate to match what you have in OBS. Now click on the effects button at the top to open the effects library. Select Generators and scroll down till you see Stinger Transitions. Resolve has some built-in Stinger options that are perfect for OBS and they're customizable. Browse through them and pick one that fits your style or has elements that you'd like to build on. For today's tutorial, we're going to use the Radial Stinger. Select the Stinger and drag and drop it into your timeline. When you play the animation, you may notice that the playback is a bit choppy. This is because the animation needs to be rendered. To do this, go to Playback, then Render Cache. You can select either Smart or User. Now you'll notice a red bar above your animation. The red parts are the parts that haven't been rendered yet. When it's been rendered, it'll change to blue. To customize the stinger, Select it and go into the Inspector panel. In here, you can check Use Custom Logo if you want to use your own logo. You can change the size here. If you wanted to use text, uncheck Use Custom Logo and enter your text down here. You can change the font. You can change the color of the text by clicking here. The size the text spacing, the line spacing, the V anchor and H anchor refer to the alignment of the text. There are a few options down here to adjust the drop shadow or add motion blur to the animation. You can also adjust the number of sides that the shape has and the angle. To change the colors of the shape, click the arrow to drop down the colors and change the colors in here. Anytime you make a change to the animation, you'll need to make sure to render the animation. Now let's adjust the length of the stinger. Just like any clip, you can shorten or extend it on the timeline. Generally, a stinger should last about one to two seconds, but you can play around to see what feels right for your stream. It's important to make note of the middle point where the stinger is completely covering your screen. We'll get back to this later. If you want to make more advanced customizations, you can select the stinger and go into the fusion page. This part's a bit more advanced, so if you're comfortable with Fusion, feel free to experiment with different effects or animations. For this video, we're just sticking to the basics. When you're happy with the Stinger, it's time to export. Go into the Deliver page, give this file a name, and select a save location. Select QuickTime as your format. For the codec, choose DNXHR and select Export Alpha. You can also use GoPro Cineform and change the type to RGB 16-bit and then select the Export Alpha option. Both codecs work great. The important part is to make sure you enable the Alpha option. This ensures that any black areas in the transition will be transparent, which is essential for it to work properly in OBS. Now click Add to Render Queue then render all. Now the exported file should work in OBS as is. For a two to three second file, 
this file is large. To reduce this file size, you can use a free tool called Shutter Encoder. I've linked it in the description. Open Shutter Encoder and drag and drop your file into it. Click the Function dropdown and choose VP9. Make sure you have .webm selected. Now go into the Advanced Features and enable Alpha. Now click Start Function. By default, it'll save your file in the same location as the original file. You'll notice here that the file size is significantly smaller than the original. Now let's bring this file into OBS. Open OBS and go to the Scene Transitions section. Click the plus icon and select Stinger. Choose your file. Now for the timing. You can set the transition time in milliseconds or switch to frames and enter the specific frame number. This is the middle point of the stinger where it covers the entire screen. On our timeline, that's at 1 second and 15 frames. So if 30 frames are in 1 second, 1 second and 15 frames will have 45 frames. Enter the frame number and then scroll down. You can click the preview button to see how the transition looks. And that's how you create a simple custom OBS transition in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that your new transition adds a fresh branded touch to your streams. If you enjoyed the video or have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.